Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be looking at the LTO flash cart. Now this is something that uh, I really was debating for a while on picking up. Uh, you know, originally I, I was thinking I didn't need one uh, because I have all pretty much the games I want to play in physical copies. Um, but there was a lot of other reasons why I really should have picked one up earlier. Now, if you're not familiar with this is, it's essentially a cartridge that you can plug into a PC uh, or a Mac, uh, I believe, and download or essentially put games on here, physical games that you can actually, uh, you know, well, ROMs, and plug it into your Intellivision and play them on your real hardware. Um, you know, so you can you can play it, you can put all the original Intellivision games on there, or you can put in the, you know, anything that's uh, considered homebrew or brand new games that are being created for the television just like Defender of the Crown came out a couple years back um, but this is like an actual game that was created you know so you can actually instead of buying the physical copies you can purchase the ROM download the ROM and play it on your flash cart so for the longest time I was thinking well I, I already have these games I don't want to uh, you know, I, d I don't necessarily need this because I got the cartridges right there. I can just take them out, play them on my system. But as I started to realize how many homebrews existed for the Intellivision, and a lot more are coming out, I started to realize, you know, hey, why, why not? Why, sh you know, I could actually get these homebrews, uh, or or even just some of the new stuff that gets created and sent to me in ROM format, put it on my flash cart, and still be able to play it. Um, another reason which kind of sparked me to want to get this is I've recently just started programming my own games for the Intellivision. And currently the only way I can actually play them is on an emulator, which is the core part of, I guess, how this works. Um, it was, I mean, the guy who created the, em the emulator that runs the games on our PC is the same guy that made this. Uh, his name is Joe. Uh, I, I'm not even going to try and say his last name. I'll butcher it. Uh, but it's a Z B I C I A K. I don't even want to pretend to say that because I will screw it up. But uh, he created the uh, the emulator in the first place and uh, worked on this to actually have a flash cart. So, anyways, I just thought this would be kind of cool to show it off, just in case there are some people out there that are not familiar with it, or maybe they've been wanting to pick one up and and wasn't a hundred percent sure what they're going to get. Um, and the other thing too is, uh, I was kind of told by uh, William from Electronite, um, you know, this company here, that uh, these things go fast. And when he told me that, I kind of sat on the fence about it. And before I knew it, they were already sold out. And by the time I was uh, deciding I want to pick one up, I, I, I sent him a message and he's like, sorry, all gone. He's like, I told you these things go fast. And he's like, I don't know if we'll, we'll have another shipment of these things. If they make any more of these things, it might be a while. So I thought, ah, crud, you know, I missed out on it. But then one day I, I was on Facebook and I saw a posting and there was a bunch for sale and I jumped on it. And uh, luckily I did that because I think this is, I, I believe he said this was the second last one available. There was one more after mine and that's it. So I don't know if, if there's going to be more or when there's going to be more. Hopefully there will be more because uh, there's a lot of demand for this. Anyways, let's get to the fun part. Let's open this up because this is still sealed in the package. I literally picked this up from the post office. Uh, it's nicely sealed. It came in really, really nice bubble wrap. Uh, they did a really great job packaging this up. Uh, it's a shame to open some of these things, but you know, you buy them to use them, right? It's not like a classic game where you buy it to sit on your shelf. Uh, I'm actually intending on using this thing. Just to put that down there. And you can see it opens up just like a original Intellivision cartridge, the gatefold box, really nice. They put some great artwork on there, LTO flash at the top there. And of course on the back, they give you kind of like what it looks like, the interface and um, tells you it's easy to use, it's flexible, adaptable, compatible, convenient. Uh, it works on all Intellivision systems. I guess that's important because there's an Intellivision 2. There's the... Uh, ECS, which I think is the keyboard, and then there's the IntelliVoice module, so it works for everything. So let's take a look. The cartridge is really neat. It's orange. 
I, I, I don't know wh why they wanted to go with orange. Maybe that just, uh, you know, they wanted something to identify it. And it's see-through. So you can see the circuit board. <laughs> That's really cool. You can really see in there. And uh, it's got the sticker on the top. This is the, the cartridge mold that they use for all of these um, from Electronite. Uh, I believe if I take out my Defender of the Crown, it's the same cartridge mold. So that's what they use. It's got the same kind of sticker. So it's the same kind of quality, uh, really good quality uh, product that they use. There's nothing cheap about this. It's not a recycled old Intellivision cartridge that you're using. Um, this is all brand new hardware. Really cool. Um, but this is my first time having one, so I don't really know how to operate it yet. I'm going to have to go through the manual, which is in here. And I set it on the box. There's a manual with it. I'll just take a look, see what it looks like. So it's nice quality as well. Nice paperwork. Um, it's not cheap. <laughs> you can tell it's not cheap. It's good quality paper. It's got all of the uh, information on there. Looks like it's fairly simple. I mean, there's there's a few uh, instructions. A lot of this is is uh, pictures, which is good. I like. I'm a visual learner, so having pictures is good. And um, yeah, I'm I'm not sure if this thing comes loaded with anything on it other than the interface. I don't know if there's any games or anything with it, but definitely gonna find out when I start working on it. Anyways, the exciting part is I, I can't wait to actually start playing my own games that I programmed on a real in television. I I'm working on a Keystone Capers style game, a clone almost, um, or, a, you know, like a port of it. And I've only been able to play it on my PC using a gamepad and, uh, you know, the emulator on there. So it's going to be really cool to actually, you know, put this on my real Intellivision, see how the colors really turn out, the sound turns out, and playing it on an actual uh, physical Intellivision controller. Anyways, yeah, that's... Uh, the LTO flash cart. Um, if you're interested in, in putting your name down, I think there is a way to do it. I think there might be a wait list or something. Or, uh, but it, essentially, just go on Facebook, find the Intellivision. Uh, there's a few Intellivision groups. There's Intellivision Invasion. Uh, there's Intellivision Homebrew. Uh, you can look in those groups. Uh, there's usually people in there with a lot of helpful tips, tips and, and tricks. Uh, there's the Atari Age Forum, uh, which I'm on there often now. Uh, there's an Intellivision section, a programmer section, um, or just general Intellivision stuff, and they talk about this. And you can go to the Electronite website, and, uh, you know, just, you could probably find it. Um, and if another batch actually happens to come up available, if you want one, uh, grab it really fast. Uh, they, they're not the cheapest thing. Um, they're about 200 bucks, somewhere around there, depending on where you're from in the world. Uh, for me, it was, it was about, you know, just a little under Canadian. Uh, just a little under that. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think of the flash cart. And, and this is not new. I mean, there's flash cards for every system pretty much. You can get them for Atari. You can get them for uh, Nintendo and all the other systems out there. It's, this is not a new thing. So <laughs> I'm not trying to make it sound like this is, you know, uh, mind-blowing. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Leave some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.